In this video, I'm going to show you how to romance Wilhelmina in her quest Every Rose Has Its Thorns in Dragon's Dogma 2. Now you will have to have progressed the game until you have met her directly through one of Captain Braun's stories. So if you've seen the scene already, you have already unlocked the availability of the romancing. I highly recommend you rest it in before continuing just to put down a hard save in case anything goes wrong. But here's the location we're going to, the Rose Chateau Bordelry, and you have to have the Myrmicoleon card, which you get from the first time meeting her in your inventory. And then you make your way to this house. I'm going to quickly show you where she's located. So you run in, you run up the spiral staircase, and then you go to the opposite side of the, the building over here through the door and this is where you'll find her the first time for many people you probably will not have her actually do anything at this point you know it will be like in a state of like just you know emptiness in order to change this, you have to give her a gift by pressing this button when you have her dialogue options open, right? She likes like pretty things. So you can either give her like a gemstone or like a bunch of flowers. I decided to give her a Jasper and one of them was perfect. I gave her a Jasper and this will change what her dialogue is and it, it lets her trust you enough to continue with her own personal story, which is the quest that you're trying to unlock. Essentially, if she is saying this dialogue that you see on the screen, this means you have unlocked it and you're ready to proceed. Now you need to return at evening time. So you're going to go ahead and find a bench with the red blanket on it. And you're going to doze off until it is the first darkness in the sky like this over here. And then you're going to return to her. Now, this night might not be every single night. There might be some nights where this NPC is not here. You're basically looking for this guy outside and it will be like, hey, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Um, you know, she's busy right now. This is what you want. If he's not here, you will have to go back to the bench and rest for another evening because it's not every evening. But go into the room, use the peephole through the thing that you did in the story mission, and you'll watch her speak to this NPC, Allard. And then she'll, you know, have noticed that you are here. And then this is going to bring you into the room and you're going to continue talking, which she's going to tell you that she has a plan to murder Mr. Allard. And you can offer your assistance, which is what you want to do for the, the romancing part of this guide. Now, it's very important from this point, you only focus on the quest because she gives you three days to gather evidence. So no more resting on a bench, no more doing other stuff, no more using in rests, because if you do that, you're going to cancel this quest because it is time based. This quest will fail if you don't do this in three days. For the next step, we need to find Sven, and Sven is going to be in Vernworth Castle. I recommend putting on the guard's armor that you get from Disa's plot quest as a disguise. And then you're going to go to the castle, which you should know where it is. And once you get in the castle over here, you're going to follow this path over here to get to this back entrance, the same one that you took in Disa's plot's quest, right? So through here, you can find the guard armor in that chest that we just passed. And then we're going to go along this direction so you can follow me as I'm running up the stairs and then going straight across here to, you know, the other end and then to the right. And this is where Sven's room is. Now, when you speak to him, he's going to give you a clue of like how to expose Allard's misdeeds. And he's going to tell you about Patrick. So you have to go to Patrick's Manor come nightfall. So, of course, you need to be there at nightfall, right? Now, Patrick's Manor is located right over here. There will be an icon marked on it. So make your way to Patrick's Estate at this location. Make sure it is nighttime or still nighttime if you're doing this like quickly in one run, which I highly recommend so that you don't let days go by. Then you're going to go into Patrick's Estate and you'll find him standing in the middle and you're just going to speak to him and he's going to tell you that he can you know, bring Allard over here for a little bit so that you can go to his house and look for some evidence. So that's what's going to happen if you agree. This means Allard is going to walk here literally right now, which means you have to go steal this thing right now from Allard's house, which is just up the road over here to the southwest. Right, as you can see, it's like literally just up the road. So you're going to go up the stairs. You should see Allard and his guard walking past you. This is a good sign that like, okay, cool, they've left. You're not going to get caught or anything. Go up the stairs, go into Allard's house. You're going to go up the stairs in his house and you're going to go to the only room that's up here like this. You're going to turn to the left and you'll see here there is a small table and a painting that you can interact with. And behind the little painting, you'll see there is a murder report item that you can collect which is one of two items that we need. The next item is going to be found at this little house that is just south of the Barbary. So right over here, this house, this one that's like right in the middle of the screen, you're going to go here. So go here immediately after. This is what it looks like on the left. You're going to go up the stairs. You're going to go into this house and you'll see on the table in front of you, there will be 
bribery investigation findings, which is the second thing that we need. Now the quest will tell you, oh, return to Wilhelmina. Don't return to Wilhelmina. You have to go to the Star Drop Inn. If you don't do this, Wilhelmina is going to go to jail instead of you getting the romance scene. So if you want that, just be aware of that. Okay, so you'll find Captain Bront at the Star Drop Inn at nighttime, and you'll ask him to tell me of the Memricolian which will prompt the conversation about Allard and his misgivings and doings. Now you'll get the option of giving him one file. You want to give him the bribery investigation findings first. If you mess this up, you're going to mess this up. So bribery investigations first, okay? Then you're going to speak to him. He's going to, you know, go some sort of some story. I'll let you guys experience like what they're actually saying when you actually do it so that you can experience it. And then you're going to go to search for more evidence because you have the murder report that you want to give him as well. OK, so from here, you're going to speak to him again. Tell me of the Myrmicoleon again. And then this time you're going to get, get another option to give him another file. And this is going to be the murder report. This is the one that you're going to give him second. He's then going to warn you about assassinating him and saying how it's a bad idea. And we're going to do it anyway, but you should ask him for any aid he can give. So you're going to use this option over here because he's going to try change the plot a little bit to make sure she doesn't go to jail. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and return to the Rose Chateau Baudelary. We're going to go back to Wilhelmina. So at her room, you should know where this is already. So I'm just going to skip here and then you'll find her on the balcony. OK. Now, when you speak to her here, you'll see she's going to ask you if you've returned and you're going to be able to give her like, you know, things that you've collected. Now you have to give her both of them. It's very easy to accidentally give her one and click deliver. You have to go back and add both of them to the screen so that it looks exactly like this. If one of them has a zero, she's going to jail. She needs both of these files. Make sure you give her both of them. And then from this point onwards, she'll basically get to a choice where you can continue offering your aid, which is, you know, be basically become an accomplice in the murder that you're about to commit. And this straight up goes into like she puts on a mask, changes her outfit. She goes out the door and then she's going to tell you Allard is in the room right there and you got to go in there and restrain him. So get ready to use your grab ability. You'll go in here. He'll speak to you quick and be like, who are you? What, what's this? And then you'll use grab and then you basically like, you know, hold him down and then that, that will start a cut scene. I'm not going to show you the whole Old cut scene because I think you guys should watch it yourself. This is going to lead to him basically dying. You'll know you've gotten the romance path when she says this, when she throws down the papers on his body, like the times come for your lessons could come to light. If she says that this is, she doesn't know if this is enough, then she's going to jail afterwards, right? Then you're going to jump off the balcony. You're going to land in the hay bale. Don't like jump, jump because you'll land on the floor and die. As soon as you hit the ground, you see Captain Rod will be like, I thought I might find you here. I like, you know, quickly follow me. I'll take you, you know, to safety and stuff. And then you'll see uh, Wilhelmina will also see like, okay, cool. Uh, come by tomorrow evening. And I'll show you some thanks, which, you, you know, is the, 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 the romance part. Right after that, you're going to follow Captain Bront. This is super simple. You just have to follow him. He's going to walk like a little bit weirdly, but he's going to take you just outside the Riftstone building. And he'll talk to you, you know, tell you he can't believe you've done these things. And essentially, that's 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 it for, for him. He's not going to ask you of anything else. Then you're going to go back to a place where you can rest and make it the following evening. I'm just going to use a bench skip to the follow evening so until it's like the nighttime like this and then you're going to return to Wilhelmina you'll find her here and you'll see if she's blushing you've done this correctly if you've messed this up there'll be a guard outside the door saying she's been imprisoned instead but if you did this correctly this is what you'll see and I'll let you guys watch it here in case you didn't get it in your game thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it.